I know guys, long time no see. I feel like it's been a good three weeks since I've posted on here. Um, I went camping for about two weeks or like one and a half weeks and I was gonna film and honestly I just, I wasn't really in a mindset where I wanted to film um, or I wanted to eat well. <coughs> oh, seasonal allergies, seriously. Anyways, I feel like there's another one coming. Maybe not. Um, but I just wasn't really in the mood. Um, I try to keep up with my Instagram while I was away, but I just wasn't in the mindset of, like I said, losing weight or like eating healthily or I don't know, just making content. So, so. I am back here. Um, I want to, I want to get back into the swing of things. And my main focus right now is like, I want to lose weight, but I don't want to be focused on that number on the scale. I just want to make better choices, um, exercise again, and just be mindful of what I'm doing with my health journey. I think that I just get too caught up in the scale. Um, that being said, when I came back from camping, I did weigh myself. Um, before I left, I think, let me just see here. So before I left for holidays, I actually, um, I was losing a little bit of weight. So I left for holidays at 170.4, which was pretty low. Like I haven't been that low in like a while. Like I think I want to say, let's see, January, February, January, February, March, April, April. Like that was my lowest. So um, I was doing really well. Um, I did stop working out because if you guys don't remember, I hurt my tailbone and it was still hurting. So I'm thinking maybe like that wasn't like losing weight per se, but I was like losing my muscle that I was, you know, getting from working out. Anyways, the point of the story here is I left at 170.4 and I came back and I weighed in at 175.5, so I gained 5.1 pounds within a matter of two weeks, which honestly isn't bad because I drank, I ate what I wanted, and that's fine. So I um, came back, I started intermittent fasting again, and you know, I was doing all right. Um, I weighed in last Thursday at 174.4, so what is that, like a 1.1 loss, which is good, like I had some good, I had some bad days, but after that loss, I just went free for all again, and um, my aunt and uncle were in town, and I just, I just kept eating, so this morning I weighed in again, and I was 176, so I just... Like I said, I don't wanna focus on that number, but um, I just feel it, like even in my arms, I can see it, my stomach, I can see it. Um, I'm up like 10 pounds from my lowest weight, um, which I was, I think it was last summer was my lowest weight. Um, if you guys hadn't followed me then, I was like around 165, 167, like just maintaining within that range. I did reach a low point of 163, but I was on medication that, um, made me shed my excess water, excess or access, excess, I don't know, anyways, so, or like the fluid out of my body, so really that wasn't technically like my actual lowest, so after I got off those pills, my normal was like between 165 and 167, but I just, I don't know, I was contemplating on not coming on and just kind of just taking time, which I technically did take time away because I just needed it, but like I just need to get back at things because I'm not comfortable at what I am right now and I'm still proud of you know like what I've done in my journey like don't get me wrong um, but I just I need to I want to feel comfortable again because like my clothes are tight and I can feel it so that's what we're doing I'm here I'm going to try to hold myself accountable and you guys honestly do I've had some people reach out to me on Instagram and YouTube and I just want to thank you all um, like just checking in on me checking if I'm okay because I hadn't posted regular um, honestly you guys just keep me going and thank you so much for you know reaching out and making sure I was okay but anyways it is 12 39 um, I am having my first meal like I said I'm intermittent fasting because I feel like that helps my mom's facetiming me one sec anyways as I was saying um, I'm intermittent fasting again it's 12 36 as I was making my lunch I um, had a little bite of it so I really stopped my fast at 12 30 so I'll have an eight hour window I just find it helps me with snacking at night and I just need something else to help me this is lunch I have two everything um, rice cakes for three points I have two points worth of avocado on there well actually it's the holy guacamole 
Um, I love this stuff. If you guys haven't been watching me, you or you have been watching me, you know that that's like one of my favorite things. And actually, like this rice cake concoction is like one of my favorite things. Anyways, two points for that. Zero for the uh, tomatoes. I have some a little bit of salt on there, and then I have my sriracha and black pepper seasoning by McCormick's and I'm all out and I can only get it in the States and I can't get to the States so I'm a little upset but that's okay um, and then I have two hard-boiled not hard-boiled oh my gosh two um, well I guess they're hard-boiled but they're pickled as well uh, two pickled eggs so this is a nine-point lunch I'm starving I can't wait to dig in um, I don't know if you guys can really see it very well like the lighting is horrible I'm going to eat my lunch I'm going to try to get a workout in I'm gonna start another Chloe Ting workout challenge I'm gonna mow the lawn and I want to get a tan in today so anyways I just want to get back into the swing of things because like I said like I can tell in my arms like nobody has noticed but me like so maybe that's a good thing but I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we'll probably see you guys maybe back for snack time I'm not too sure if I'll have time for snack today but I will see you guys then all right guys I'm done my workout I mowed the lawn I had a shower about an hour ago so I'm going to head outside and you know just enjoy the sunshine and get a tan um, I'm bringing out the Reese Puffs cereal bar for a snack um, I've been loving these and so has my husband they're only four points and I feel like that's a really good point value considering like how good these taste um, so I'll be sitting at 13 points for the day after I have that I'm gonna bring out my water I tried to make a smoothie but the bananas I had I froze them but I think they were like really overripe like I should have just used them for banana bread like they were seriously overripe so when I made the smoothie it just didn't taste or smell like I wanted it to you know how like a banana gets super overripe but um, that's what I was gonna have um, I want to try and get some fruit in but unfortunately right now all I have is frozen fruit so that's why I wanted a smoothie but like I said they didn't turn out as planned so um, I'm going to have this for a snack the thing I like about WW is that I can still incorporate snacks that I like um, with you know eating healthily um, I know that I don't eat the healthiest and I know that I eat a lot of processed food but it really helps me that I can still enjoy foods that I love um, so yeah I'm going to grab my water head outside and we'll see you guys back for dinner time Here's dinner. I have the Morningstar Farms Mediterranean Chickpea Burger, one of my favorites. I have some cucumbers, some peas for zero points, and then I have four naan dippers. Um, over here, there's some tzatziki for one point, and then some Greek hummus for one point. Those naan dippers, I forgot to mention, they are one point a piece, so I have four there for four points. So dinner is a total of nine points to bring me to 23 out of 30 points for the day. All right guys, it is snack time. I am sitting down, finishing my water. Um, I also found these while I was camping. Um, it is a Western family, so I believe it's the Save On Foods, like no name brand. Um, it is Tropical Dream Grapefruit Flavored Soda. It's diet, so it's zero points. I know diet's not good for me, but you know what? It's something that I haven't really been able to give up during my journey, and I've given up so much that I'm like, I can treat myself once in a while when we go camping actually no this year camping wasn't bad but last year when we went camping I drank a lot of diet pop but I'm really upset too because here where I live I cannot find diet root beer for the life of me and you guys all know that's like my favorite diet pop so I'm really upset if I really want one I'll have to go to A&W and just order one but it's like four dollars I think for one like just like a medium drink whereas I can get like a whole pack for four dollars why are my hands so shaky today I'm sitting down with the usual um, this time I air popped it so I have more um, I have seven points worth of air pop popcorn which is quite a bit but honestly with the days that I've been having I've been hungry today because I'm so used to eating more so I think this will keep me full and I think I just need that extra amount of popcorn if you know what I mean it's hard to explain but I feel like when I'm off track and I eat a lot and then I go back like on track I feel like I am super hungry so if I have all this popcorn I feel like it will just keep me full um, I know I didn't have to have the whole seven points but that's why I did that um, so yeah I'm going to sip on this have my popcorn I'm gonna watch I don't know a TV show or a movie my husband's back to work again so I don't know sometimes nights like this it's like I wish he was home because I'm just kind of like chilling out and watching a movie and it would be just nice to have him here um so 
missing him a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I just want to thank everybody again for reaching out, making sure I was okay, and I apologize. I haven't been consistent on my channel, but I am trying to get back at this. Let me know down below what you guys want to see for videos. Um, I try to do... Like I try to make the videos you guys suggest, but honestly, sometimes it's just hard because I work full time. I'm um, helping my husband manage our business. If you guys are new to my channel, me and my husband own a vending machine business. Um, if you guys are interested, we do have a separate channel and I will link that down below. Go check it out. We don't um, just post about our vending machine business. We've posted about like um, stock income and just like general things that um, we do in our daily life. We are trying to, you know, plan for our future and hopefully retire early. So yeah, anyways, today I am at 30 out of 30 points. I am super happy and I hope I can continue this. I hope I can continue working out and just being on track because I'm going camping again shortly and that's going to be a struggle. I'll deal with that when that comes closer to the time but anyways I'm gonna end the video here thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one